when I take my seat in the morning to meditate, it's not like, oh my God, now I got to meditate on my cushion and I got to have all the right conditions and it has to be quiet and it has, the sun has to be shining or whatever it is so that I can have a moment of respite and just ride on the waves of my breathing in my body. It's not, no, it's not one more thing you have to squeeze into your day. It's a love affair with the present moment which is the only moment, no matter how old you are, the only moment that we're ever actually alive in and therefore have any snowball's chance of hell of uh, uh, leveraging into uh, wakefulness. And actually, we don't need to leverage it. The, 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 The taking one seat in that way as a love affair is itself... The, the 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 intention, but it's also the uh, the result, and that's what where the the phrase non dual practice comes in. That we, people think, oh, meditation now it's supposed to have a certain kind of experience. Now I'm meditating, so oh my god, my butt is hurting, my neck is hurting, my shoulders are up and by my ears, everything's wrong with me. You know, that's not, I, I'm having a terrible meditation. No, that's perfect because everything that I just said, those are just thoughts through, moving through your mind. And they're not the full truth of what's happening in the present moment. So as soon as you realize that, then maybe it is a love affair. Maybe I can put out the welcome mat for things exactly as they are, including all my inner narratives in my head and realize awareness doesn't have a problem with it. So I'm not trying to attain some perfect state but I am actually recognizing that the condition right now in this moment when held in awareness is itself just what it is. I won't call it perfect because then people will misunderstand what I'm saying, but it is perfect in the sense that in this moment, your life is just like this. And when you hold that in awareness, you don't need to worry about the next moment. It will take care of itself. And when you realize that, then you don't even, it doesn't stop when you get off the cushion after half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever it is, or 10 minutes or five seconds. It doesn't have to stop because the breath keeps going and life keeps going until it doesn't. So every moment then becomes the true meditation practice.